Okay, but if you're talking about, let's say, like the sun, uh, the sun setting, or the sun, you know, when you watch a sunset on the beach, per, yeah. for example, it slowly goes down beyond the horizon as the world turns. That's kind of the way that they that you would see this. How so do- you believe that when you watch the sunset, you're falling over backwards at about a thousand miles per hour, which is almost double the speed of sound. <laughs> That's what we believe. It's everywhere, and it's literally brainwashing adults and children. Um, to believe in this heliocentric nonsense, the sunset that now, again, everyone that's listening to this, have a pen or your computer or your iPhone, whatever. And I'm going to give you places to go, um, videos to watch, because you shouldn't believe anything I say. You have to check this yourself. And when people say, oh, it's on YouTube, let me tell you something. YouTube is not an information source. It's just a platform. It's a platform that has everything on it. And nonsense and real stuff. It's just a way to share information. So um, you're asking about the sunset. Yeah. It has to, it, it's, it's difficult to do on a podcast, but I'll explain it the best I can and I'll tell you where to go to, to watch some videos. When you look up at a cloud, imagine there's a white fluffy cloud above you and you have to tilt your head back and you look straight up at the cloud. Now watch that cloud dis, you know, go off over the water into the distance. At about 20 to 30 miles away, that cloud is almost indistinguishable from the horizon. Mm -hmm. If if you drew a line from your eyes to that cloud, from your point of view, it would be a parallel line with the ground. Yeah, sure. Can you see that? Yeah. But imagine if somebody was standing under that cloud and can see that line. They would see a line from 20,000 feet in the air sloping down to your eyes in the distance. Mm-hmm. So it's it's a completely different way to look at it. So when the sun, our local sun, is above the earth, just as it appears, it travels in a circle just like the moon does. They're the same size. They're very close. Um, as it goes away, that line of clouds in the distance becomes what I call a cloud horizon or an atmospheric horizon. You can only see so far until the atmosphere becomes opaque. And as it goes past that, it gets eclipsed. 